Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to share the lens hood of my choice for the Fujifilm X100V and it's something that looks just like the square hood but does not hurt your wallet. If this is your first time stopping by this channel, I'm Ansar and I like to make photographs and I'm also learning to make videos. I document and share this journey of mine on this YouTube channel. So if you like what you see, do consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps. So now let's move to the main part of the video. One of the nicest things of owning a Fujifilm camera is the desire to accessorize it and style it based on our needs and liking. From the shutter release to a thumb grip to half leather case and even different lens hoods for different lenses. Fujifilm themselves do sell some accessories for their cameras as well as for their lenses. So in today's video, I would like to share my favorite lens hood for the X100V. Out of the box, the X100V comes only with a dedicated lens cap. The lens cap can protect the front of your lens when not in use. It can effectively protect your valuable lens against some scratches, moisture, dust and fingerprints. The lens cap is also made of premium aluminum alloy and looks very durable and it's also lightweight and this metal construction matches very well the X100V styling. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to replace the default lens cover was that it comes in the way for my style of shooting. Let me explain. I always go out to shoot in the street hoping to capture that decisive moment and something as simple as a lens cover can really be a spoiled sport. Removing the lens cap and then storing it and then taking the shot. The moment is no longer decisive and probably you are a tad bit too late. So I wanted something that could provide some better protection for my lens, also help reduce flaring and mainly not come in my way while shooting. So the best way for me to achieve this style of shooting is to go with no lens cover at all. So I plan to just have a UV filter and, and then mount a lens hood on top of it, thus making the camera also 100% weather sealed and also protecting my lens element. So even before I began my search, there was only one thing on my mind, square hood. It really goes well with the X100 series of cameras. In fact, I also feel that Fuji should start selling something like this for the X100V out of the box. But then I look at the price, I was like no freaking way. I have to admit it's very pricey for a lens hood, a piece of beautifully crafted metal that costs 60 euros. I get reminded sometimes of the Apple ads for the unibody MacBook Pro. But then it gets a bit more ridiculous as the shipping is around 13 euros to my place in Belgium. That quickly adds up to around 73 euros and now I'm totally out of the race. I also took a look at the Fujifilm option, the LH-X100 that comes with a lens hood and also an adapter ring that costs as much as the square hood. So it was a no-go for me. I So I started to look around more and the first thing that caught my eye are stuff from our good old friend JJC. So I went for the JJC model number LH-JX100 and it comes with a lens hood and also an adapter ring and it cost me a fraction of the price. It works just like the Fuji film hood, but the material feels a bit inferior, but did the job very well. I was able to mount this lens hood on top of a UV filter and I was cooled. It worked like a charm and I never covered the front element anymore. The design of the square hood was still at the back of my mind. I was still looking for some alternative hoods that just look like a square hood but at a much cheaper price and then I happened to stumble upon the lens hood from Hogue, model number LH-X54W. This one just looks like a replica of the square hood but comes in at a much affordable price. The design is also very very similar. Just the mounting mechanism is much different, there are no screws involved unlike the one from square hood. The Hogue lens hood is specifically designed for Fujifilm X100V. It's designed to block scattered light and reflections. There's also like an anti-glare matte finish that prevents reflections I think. It's made of sturdy anodized aluminum and one of the good things is that you will be able to mount a UV filter on your lens and then mount this hood on top of it and if you want you can also put the original lens cap on top of the hood. Based on my first impressions of the Hogue lens hood for the X100V, I really like it. It fits very well. It also comes with an adapter in the box. I was able to mount a UV filter and the lens hood on top of it, which and the mounting mechanism is pretty straightforward. You just need to give it a couple of tries to align it pretty right. One of my recommendations and also from what I've seen online is not to try to screw this lens hood too tight because sometimes they say that it can be a bit difficult to get this lens hood off. I've not experienced that so I did not tighten my lens hood too much just a bit of caution. The camera looks really beautiful with this lens hood and it seems to me that the color of the lens hood also matches the color of the camera. So finally now the camera is also now well protected and also weather sealed with the UV filter. The hood does come in the way just like my other hood from JJC when viewed from the optical viewfinder. I tried to check if there is any shadow cast from the lens hood while using the flash and I could not find any so happy with that as well. Since there is not much harsh light these days I have not tested how good the flaring is but uh, for this price I will take it any day 
it just gets the job done for me i'm super happy with the purchase and hopefully in the future if uh, square hood decides to lower the price i might pick one up as well so if you enjoyed watching this video hit that like button and share it with your friends and do consider subscribing to my channel as i hope to grow this channel with some quality content that you guys might enjoy watching and that i too enjoy making so that's about it for today so until the next one take care and ciao ciao